All right, hey, hope you're doing good. Today we've got more about the blues songs that you want to know, that you want to learn, and you want to listen to and enjoy. They're great songs. Now today's are a little more traditional blues today. We've done, um, if you haven't seen the last videos or the last couple videos, they've been more of the blues rock um, classic rock stuff so check that out I'll leave that card up here for you so you can go back and just click on that and check those out they are some good songs Midnight Special CCR Rocky Mountain Way um, Joe Walsh Dire Straits You and Your Friend and Chris Stapleton's Tennessee Whiskey so some good ones there you don't want to miss if you did miss but don't want to miss any more go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification you'll be notified when more of them come out so I've done a video of of 12 blues great blues songs there's a list of them that video is back behind us too and there's 12 songs on there that are exceptional songs that i've been around listening to and been enjoying for quite some time now so definitely check those out when you hit that bell notification you'll get notified when more videos come out i've got probably um, eight more songs to do on that list and they're great songs so you will enjoy them and you definitely want to put them in your portfolio as as um, as a musician as a bassist you definitely want to have the blues under your belt because uh, the blues has influenced a lot of our music today a lot of it so you definitely want to know that you want to be, have a great understanding of the blues and that's what I dig into here and I dig into and I want to play bass.com if you want to um, more on the blues jump over there subscribe get your free book become a member get updated on new videos new recommendations new gear new lessons that I'm putting up and then sign up enroll become a member become a full access member and you'll get lessons every day on playing this instrument and starting from the fundamentals building a solid foundation you know it's nothing better than having a solid foundation to build off of you don't want some shaky crumbly foundation you're not going to be able to build anything off of it so over at iwantoplaybase.com we focus on the fundamentals and that's where you're going to grow the best you can grow as a bassist so enough being said there we will jump into the songs i've got today and we're working with muddy waters which you have to know about muddy waters he's been with the blues for a long time he was in there even in the early blues the old blues styles and tradition and then he's kind of had a lot to do with the electric um electric blues so he's been around a while he's somebody that's definitely made a difference in the blues um and he's you know just got some good stuff it's just traditional blues here as well and we've got daniel castro's um i'll play the blues for you that's a good one too that's a traditional blues you know definitely um traditional blues and kind of a slow blues as as like some of the other ones we did in the in the past but this one it's it's a good one so i'll start off with that one daniel um castro's uh, i'll play the blues for you it's get a little more into it now the bass line's got a little groove to it and that's what we've been focusing on these these previous videos i put out is staying in the pocket we get we got into soloing and we got into a little bit you know tips on walking bass lines and improvising and stuff like that but now we're going to step back a notch work work on you know staying in that pocket and focusing on supporting the song because that's something that has a tendency to you know being a new musician you might forget all about or you, you might not be aware of how significant it is playing this instrument as staying in the pocket as important as it is being a bassist that can stay in the pocket and lay that groove down and that bottom end so that's something we've got to focus on as we grow as a bassist is that that pocket and these songs i'll put in here that's what i'm doing here these songs are all they focused on the pocket and they very rarely went out of it and that's how the song it's supported it in all you know all matters um, it, they just support it in so many ways and that's that's what that's our job that's our key role so this one just starts on um 
Let me think, it just starts on G. For four bars, and it goes to C. to B flat and it goes to D and it goes back to C then it goes to it goes to D That's it right there. That is it. So we go G, we do the lick G, C, G, B flat, D, C, D, C, and then back to G. Start over. G ends it and it starts over. So it's four bars. There might be six bars. Might end it two bars and it starts over four bars. So that's, I mean, just, so just do that work on that ghost. Just plucking a note, plucking a dead, dead note actually. Repeats that over and over. He changes that. He changes that up. He does a couple little fills in there. He goes outside a little bit of staying in the pocket, but not a lot. Just very little bit. But there are some notes in there that um, that you'll hear that he's doing. That he changes it up just a little bit, but but nothing, nothing extreme. Nothing. He's still laying it down in the pocket and doing his job. So that's Daniel Castro's. I'll play the blues for you. Great song, a traditional blues song. You wanna, you wanna hear as well. You wanna be, you, you wanna be, you know, have all this stuff. You just wanna be more well-rounded for sure. Listen to, broaden your horizons and just be more well-rounded. You'll become, you'll become that much better of a bassist. And um, so the next one is. Our man, Muddy Waters, he's got, um, what was the name of this one? This is Muddy Waters, Manish Boy. This is Muddy Waters, Manish Boy. And it's it's a good one, but it, they just, let, this is, this is as blues can get. You know, this bass line is traditional. All he's doing the whole time is he stays out, comes in like the second bar. And that's it. That right there and then he just sings away and he does his guitar licks in there so that's just E G E G A and then it stops you know there's no no notes ringing out or anything just right there so it's like your traditional blues. Why na 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 na? No. Not that sound like Led Zeppelin though. No. This is Manish Boy, Muddy Waters. And that's all it is. At the end and in the very end they do. That's it right there. They go to A, C sharp, D, D sharp.
that's an easy one, but make sure you focus on your plucking, that you're getting those, you're not just, you're just not letting those notes ring out. And, so it's, you gotta, you gotta mute that string, you gotta mute that note, half of the note, it's kind of staccato. So that's all you gotta. All right, so just hang on those notes. So that's Money Waters, Manish Boy, and Daniel Castro's I'll Play the Blues for You. So check them out, listen to them, spend some time on this, listen to other songs by them as well, and get a get a feel for who they are and what they did and the, the music they wrote. And like I said, Money Waters did a lot for the blues. He's been, been around for a long time now, and um, just good stuff. He's definitely been there for a reason. So, like I say, enjoy and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Maybe there's something else you want to hear or some other songs you want to learn. Let me know. I'll be glad to figure them out for you and, and shoot that to you. So, catch you on the flip-flop. Bye now.